Hey guys, this is going to be kind of a combination video. Um, I'm just showing you all the makeup I'm taking to France with me, so in case you guys wanted to request any tutorials or, you know, were just curious. Um, and then it's also kind of a favorites video for May and June. Um, just a lot of the stuff I've been using lately, and I kind of figured, you know, I'm only taking a limited amount of makeup to France. The stuff I'm taking probably is my favorites for right now. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and show you everything I'm taking. Um, First, my primers. I'm taking my Bare Essentials Prime Time that I use for my face, and my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, and then I'm taking my li my NYX Liquid Foundation. Um, as you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. I'm just I'm not sure if I'm going to rebuy it again. I'm just kind of trying to use it up. And um, depending on how red my face is on any given day, I either use that alone or under my Everyday Minerals. Um, I'm taking my e.l.f. Studio Concealer and Highlighter Duo, and I actually never use the highlighter. Um, I just kind of use the concealer as an under-eye concealer right now. Um, and then I'm taking my Everyday Mineral stuff. I am taking, where is it, my Start to Finish Powder in Fair, and as you can see it's kind of running out. I mean, I don't use that much, but I use this kind of more than like my foundation, because... You know, I'll wear a powder even when I'm not wearing foundation just to cut down on shininess. So I'm also taking my NYC Translucent Loose Face Powder. Um, just as kind of like a backup in case I run out of this while I'm over there. Um, and then I'm taking my Intensive Fair Concealer, which I'll use on blemishes or I'll use, um, if I have like really bad dark circles one day, I'll use it over the L Studio Concealer. And then I'm taking my Fair Neutral Foundation, and I have that in matte and in intensive. So I'm taking both of those. And sorry, I'm trying to get everything back organized in this bag, which is probably bulkier than it should be, but oh well. Um, and then for other face kind of color, I'm only taking four items. Um, First I'm taking kind of this like peachy pink blush and it's Knick Knack from Everyday Minerals. And it is pink but it's kind of like a warmer tone for summer so I've been using that a lot lately. And then um, for a cooler look I'm taking my Revlon A Floral Affair blush in Pinking of You. Let me open this up. So um, as you guys can see it's really pink but then it has like three different shades which you can kind of like use individually or blend together. So that's really pink. So I figured it'd be better for cool toned. And then I'm taking um, my Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Flush, which depending on my mood, I kind of just use alone or I use it over a blush. And then I'm taking my Wet n Wild All Over Shimmer Highlighter. And that is it for face. And then I kind of have my lip stuff all together. I'm taking four lipsticks and three glosses. I'm taking my normal chapstick, which is in my purse right now. I didn't want to go get it, but it's like my um, Aveda's lip balm, which is really good. So I'm taking three MAC lipsticks. Um, the first is kind of dark, but I like to use it a lot at night. Um, it's MAC Syrup. And then 3N, which is really old, um, but it's like a neutrally toned pink. And I've been trying to save it because when I run out, it's gone forever. But, um, yeah. And then I'm taking Angel, which is kind of a neutrally medium pink. More pink than 3N. I thought I was taking Myth, but I don't have it here. So I guess I'll just like, use foundation on my lips or something. Um, and then I'm taking a NYX round lipstick in Strawberry Milk, which I actually might throw this out and take Myth instead. I don't know yet. That one's a maybe. Um, and then for glosses, I'm taking my um, Tender Tone in Take a Hint. There's like crap all over the inside of this. Um, then I'm taking a L'Oreal Hip Gloss in Adoring. This is kind of like a neutrally brown, but it's also kind of bronze. I like using it during summer. And then um, a Bonnie Bell gloss in the cappuccino. And this smells like absolutely divine because you, you think it smells like coffee, but 
Mm. Okay, it actually smells more like vanilla frosting with like the, just the tiniest hint of coffee. It's so sweet smelling. I love it. Um, okay, I think I have too many pinks and I've been wearing that Bonnie Bow Gloss a lot with Mac Myth. So I'm probably taking Mac Myth instead of strawberry milk. And for those of you who don't know, Myth is just like a matte nude tone. Um, because my lips are so pigmented, you guys can see, I don't have anything on my lips right now. That's the color they naturally are, so I use Mac Myth when I want to do like a um, kind of nude tone lip to tone down the natural color of my lips. And now onto the fun part, eyeshadow. Um, so for those of you who don't read my blog, which if you don't, you should, link over there. Uh, I'm taking my MAC palette and I thought forever about which shadows to take and I finally decided on the 15 that I'm taking. And um, a lot of them are kind of neutral but since I'm going over there technically to study abroad, I'm going to be in class almost every day and then um, well, we're in class four days a week and then once a week we go kind of visit a business. Um, so I kind of need more professional colors and I just threw in a couple fun colors um, for when we go out on the weekends. So. Here's the palette that I filled up, and these are all but one of the eyeshadows I'm taking. So, um, I guess I'll start over here. This first column here is a NYX Trio, and that is the Trio in Aloha, Mink Brown, and Deep Bronze. And then this row is other Dupata shadows. Um, that's Max Sable, Max Satin Taupe, and a Smashbox shadow, um, Rapture. And this is another NYX Trio that is in Sahara, Suede, and Chocolate. And Chocolate got a boo-boo when I depotted it, so I had to put it back together. Um, and then MAC, what color is this? Crap. Okay. So then I kind of have like a purpley row right here, um, because purple is probably my favorite color to use in my eyes, so I'm not doing a neutral thing. So at the top I have MAC Vellum. And then Mac Shale and Graphology. And then in this last row I have my Body Shop Vanilla Cream. Mac Prussian, which is just like a dark blue. And then um, an elf, the black elf shadow. I think it's called Dusk. So, yeah. And the one other eyeshadow that I'm taking, because I love it so much, it is a Bare Mineral shadow, which is why I didn't put it in the palette. Um, and it's Cultured Pearl. So it's like a really shimmery color. I like to use it a lot with satin taupe. And then I also use it kind of with my purple look. Um, so that's why I'm taking it. Really versatile. And then usually if I want to do liner, um, well usually I don't do it. But then if I want to, I, that's kind of the reason why I took the black elf shadow. And then also I just kind of use like a darker eyeshadow color and just use my eyeshadow brush. But um, I figure just in case I'm taking this Ulta Pencil Duo. Which was like a gift of purchase one time, so it's really cheap. So I don't really care if I lose it. Um, on one end is a lip pencil, and the color is Flesh. And then on the other end, they just have a black pencil liner. And then I'm taking my Lash Blast, of course, and my Bad Gal Plum. So, yeah, that's all the makeup I'm taking. Um, if you guys have any questions about any of these products, if you want to hear a review of them, um... I've reviewed some of them already, so check. I think I reviewed some of them. Maybe not. Um, so check. Hey guys, um, check and see if I've already reviewed it. If not, just please leave a comment or send me a message. Um, I can review it while I'm over there. And I mean, if I'm going to review it while I'm over there, I'll, leave, I'll reply to your comment or message. And the review will be in my blog over there. And if I can't find the time, I'll just review it in a video when I come back. But yes, please leave a comment or message with that. And have a great summer. Bye, guys.